understanding, I like when you said that some women think they're not qualified. Having the desire makes you qualified. Ooh, let's yeah, go that. Yes. The desire begins to put you in the momentum of what it is that you want. Mm. Oh, I'm getting chills. So <laughs> it, it begins to put you in that momentum. And some people say, well, you know, I'm not qualified. I don't know how to do these things. I don't have the skill set. I don't have the, you know, and but just having that desire because everything has is, is on a vibration. Everything has its own momentum. Even thoughts have momentum. Right. And so when you say, well, in order to be, um, uh, I guess, fitness, fitness instructor. Right. I'll just use that example. I don't know anything about fitness instructing, by the way. <laughs> I use it as an example. But if somebody say I'm not qualified to be a fitness instructor. OK, but being a fitness instructor and all that all that entails all that has momentum, you know, the working out, the talking to people, the connecting things the networking, things like that. And, um, and you have to be a people person. So it's not just about exercising. So I'm sure all those things. And so if you just get into it and say, you know what, I'm going to be a fitness instructor and I'm going to serve and have a purpose and have intent behind it, you get into the momentum of what it is to be a fitness instructor and mm-hmm. everything else will start to come into you. Everything will start to make sense. But when you say I can't or I'm not qualified, you're creating resistance. Mm-hmm. Therefore, you can't draw in what it is. You can't get in that moment. You can't draw it in because you are resisting it by saying I can't, you know, and they say whether whether you say you can or you can't, you're right. Mm-hmm. Right. Because you're going to get in the momentum of your words. Thoughts have momentum. Words have momentum. When you say I can't, you're going to go into a flow of I can't. Therefore, you won't. You won't even begin to think of, OK, what is it that I know now that I can just polish off? You know, you won't begin to think of, well, who can I connect with that knows what I don't know? and can fill in the gaps for me. You want to begin. You, you already shut it off. Right. Yeah. When you say I can't. So yeah. and then and then you, so you start. But if you say I can, then you start to uh, you start to look for those experiences well who can I connect with and as you get in the momentum of other people that are on that vibration already other people that are in that space already now you're drawing it into yourself you're in that momentum and you start building on that momentum you start to think more you start to you start to do more then you start to any other skill sets that you have that we're talking about from your past that you never thought that oh wow this is useful now then now that that gives you your own little twist. Therefore, mm-hmm. yes, if, if the market is saturated with a, with a lot of fitness instructors, there's no one like you, mm-hmm. right? Because you add your own flavor to it, something from your past experience, 30, 40 years before mm-hmm. you decide to start. That's what you bring to it, right? But you have to get in the momentum and it starts with how you think and how you speak about yourself. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and that's one of the key things about habits is to be proactive mm-hmm. using words like I can, I will, I prefer, Right. That's practice speaking. Um, and so that's what begins, you know, that's what gets you in the momentum and you can start creating, uh, start creating new habits. Mm-hmm. And so now with creating habits, and I, and I love this, and I see that, you know, you speak about it a lot um, on your platform is, and we kind of did the preview earlier, but like, wait, did we record? Are we recording? Which is, uh, you know, when people say, I, I can't do that, or I can't create new habits, you habits are all created the same way good or bad, right? So, uh, and how does that start? Well, you get exposed to it. You have an experience with something, you get an award out of it, and then you do it again to go after that reward, this new experience that your brain is now locked in on because you've emotionalized that Mm -hmm. reward, right? You have an experience with it. It felt good. You got excited. You were happy about it. You emotionalized it. And guess what? Now it imprinted into your subconscious. Mm -hmm. And then now you're going to, your brain is is wanting to go, okay, let me have that experience again. And it starts to create a habit, new neural pathways, right? And Mm -hmm. our brains are already wired to take the path of least resistance. So when you create this new pathway, now it becomes a habit because your brain says, oh, let me go this way. Because as you repeat, it gets easier. It becomes more familiar. 